All right, guys, what's good? This is Sonic Soul here, and we've got, obviously, the man Momochi on the screen right now. We've got to talk about this. This man right here talked about how players should be banned playing on the closed beta test. And I made a video about it a couple days ago. You know, I saw the tweet from Giuna, who, by the way, Giuna is a, is a fucking Nikkei protector. Even though he uninstalled the game, he'll be back eventually, bro. Giuna had talked about this already from a couple days ago and I already made the video about it. And Momochi was basically talking about how Capcom needs to ban people for using the crack version. Capcom actually responded. They saw what Momochi said and they were like, you know what? Yeah, you know what? He's spitting. We gotta basically just say fuck these beta crackers, all right? So it has come to our attention that some users have been accessing the Street Fighter VI closed beta test, the CBT, <laughs> software and playing the game outside of the designated period this is a violation of cbt terms closed beta test terms and can be seen as a violation of the capcom pro tour code of conduct for the avoidance of doubt from this point forward any player who is shown with clear evidence to be accessing the cbt in an unauthorized way may be deemed ineligible for the upcoming capcom pro tour and street fighter league seasons we appreciate your cooperation and understanding in helping maintain the fairness and competitive integrity of our competitions so they listen to momochi they listen to this guy they gotta ban him and that's exactly what they did they're gonna start banning people who use the street fighter 6 closed beta test all right now you may be thinking to yourself, right? Why the hell do they keep calling this shit CBT? Call cock and ball torture. This is this is not. They gotta pick a different like acronym. A lot of people seem to be like, yo, I'm gonna speed run the top eight, getting all the crackers DQ'd. CEO 2023 top eight. They got the, the master rat himself, 6'9. You know, if I see a gal loop, I'm gonna just snitch by just a kid. LaPriz saying me telling the TO that my bro just did a safe jump day one. <laughs> going up to all the top Street Fighter players at Combo Breaker and posing as a Capcom rep trying to get top player opinions and then taking pics of them while playing the beta crack and DQing my way through CPT. This is like the only one that makes the most sense, right? This one, this one, this one, this one. Three winners during the bracket, given the side eye when they do the optimal combo. This one, if I know you and you played the crack, this one. Them showing crack T, Chris T. <laughs> them showing the Chris T Street Fighter 6 shit, you know, all these dudes that's not this Luna swag money guy, what they fail to realize is that it very explicitly says for the avoidance of doubt from this point forward, that means from 7 p.m. April 28th, 2023, that's right, so from 7 p.m. Eastern, April 28th, 2023 onward, they literally said from this point forward, that means anybody that played the cracked beta previously, you're fine. That means Chris T is fine. Chris T is absolutely fine. That means Punk is fine. That means your boy Sonic Soul is fine. Anybody, however, playing past this point, you're getting banned. You can't create a fucking law, right? Banning something and making something illegal after it was legal beforehand and then trying to persecute people for that shit that did it before so if i played on the crack beta before they did this before they put out this basically this act if i played on it beforehand they can't come after me for that they can only come after me after this point which means you can't ban chris t you can't ban punk you can't ban me you can't ban anybody who played the crack beforehand because that would be that would be bad. That's ex post facto. So, yeah, we're under the scope, obviously, if we played the crack beta. But that doesn't mean you could use stuff from the past. So, th this is, like, very big. I'm trying to, like, point that out. Now, Majin Obama, he makes another good point. Am I bugging or does this not actually change anything about the situation? From this point forward, makes it feel like this post was made six months too late just offers relief of excuse of being able to say we tried to do something about it to me Majin Obama is right what can Capcom do right the game comes out in literally a month it comes out 35 days from now literally a month from now so how are you gonna be able to really do shit to people who have played the the crack you can't right unless like footage comes up 
recently of people playing the crack maybe at like tournaments or whatever for the most part there's nothing they can do you know muscle memory's already locked in i'm already doing optimals i'm already finding shit so day one i'm gonna hit you with it and you're gonna be like you use the crack and i'll be like but did i use it did i did i use the crack before or after capcom said it was okay the only way is to get the evidence basically to say like yo like you was playing on the crack after they already pointed it out that you can't play on it so now i did get a lot of comments also talking about how it's cheating and i personally said it wasn't cheating because it's like everybody has access to it but there's the whole terms of service legality side of it right where like they don't want you to be playing this thing after the closed beta period which is a very clear sign that that's not what they intended so in a way yeah you could say it's cheating because of that but how do you stop that you you just can't you can't enforce it no matter what you can do you just can't enforce it and like i said i agree with Majin obama on this i just think that they're just doing this as a way to be like yo well fuck it we there's nothing we can do honestly i'd rather people just wait until the game's released to play it why people had to be this thirsty to play the crack beta with only eight characters baffles the shit out of me because bro if i am capable of getting an advantage over you i'm definitely gonna do it and it's not about playing the eight characters it's about understanding the systems of the game how the game operates in terms of the drive system and the fundamental aspects of it without that key thing nobody would care to play the crack but it's primarily because you get to understand how the game works see me i'm gonna post this clip of me playing the crack from like december 19 2022 which should be very much legal for me to do look capcom said from this point forward from april 28th 2023 7 p.m this was december 19th 2022 you can't fucking try me for this capcom but basically what i'm showing off is that you can't deny that this shit is good for basically acquiring knowledge early the very fact that you can find like you know true block strings when people are fucking burned out that fuck them up for like trying to escape like these type of things these type of knowledge the, the type of knowledge is here it's not based on character it's based on the system and understanding it so you have to under you have to really get that like the drive system understanding how it works drive regenerate the way like drive impact works all this other shit meanwhile people say just dp through this shit like like you could fucking just mash dp no you can't mash dp you get fucked right that type of knowledge is super fucking important to understand the fact of acquiring knowledge early of the game there's a youtube channel as well that exists called renegade evergreen who's been making a lot of like videos about how to actually play like street fighter 6 in terms of the the drive meter drive impact you know meaty grabs and how it works like this channel is very very good at being able to like break down the nuances of the game so people like this have that innate advantage regardless of if there's two characters or eight characters people are going to learn the game regardless you just have to understand that that is what people are complaining about when they talk about you're cheating because you're basically playing the cracked beta at a time in which capcom didn't want you to play it and gaining an inherent advantage over other people the only reason i didn't view it as cheating was because i'm like it's available to everybody everyone can do it the other side of the fence is they want competitive integrity they want everybody to have a fair chance and some people some people only got a console for this video it's important to talk about what i said above there is an argument to be made that terms of service that was accepted when you got into the beta said you wouldn't be do anything like crack it but i doubt they care about that they'd have to fuck over 99 percent of the pc players who got it basically yeah and there, that's the other thing too, Lopedo, is that Capcom had emailed people who signed up for the beta already and told them, please, please, please don't use the beta after the beta period. I got an email like that a long time ago, and you could probably find some record of it and some history of it. They really just don't want people to ruin the competitive integrity of their game. And that's kind of the main thing that we're talking about here. But most people don't give a fuck. Most people are just going to play ultimately what do i think about all this there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna try to like dq motherfuckers with like past footage that's just how cancel culture works there's gonna be a lot of people that obviously joke about it ultimately this isn't gonna do anything at the end of the day 
There's not that much time left before the game comes out. Well, why didn't you just make the demo have more characters? Well, the point is, it's not about the characters. It's about learning the system of the game. And the people that use the crack beta will not have the ability to understand like the other characters that exist. You only understand eight characters, but then there's like obviously 18 characters. So there's 10 other characters you still have to lab. You're still gonna have to figure out how to fight Manon, Marissa, Lily, JP, right? So you're not gonna have that knowledge to fight those characters. What you will have, however, is the ability to know the drive system and how it works and apply that. And that's an inherent advantage. The demo, it doesn't matter how many characters that they add. If they added the entire roster, you might as well have just considered that the full game. And they're not going to do that. If we add eight characters, it's still characters we don't know. If we add seven characters, it's still characters that other people played. If we add the whole sh roster, then it might as well release the full game. There's nothing you can do to fix that. Momochi basically said, yo, they need to get banned. And Capcom did the fairest thing that they could. Ban people who use the crack past this point. Hey, we tried. Everyone's going to be ready for Street Fighter 6. But do you really think this notice by Capcom is going to do anything in the long run? Or do you think that this is good? Let me know in the comments down below. Please like and leave you know your comments. And please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know the next time I upload another video like this. I'll see you guys on June 2nd. Y'all be easy. Peace.